Okay, San Monani Mulweni to Melang Tobela Abshing. Ah, dear Nipotis as a question is a Tushagazi, Ziganungu and Quezi. Thank you very much, uh, very much for tuning in once again. Um, those that are tuning in for this first time, please do subscribe. <clears throat> um, we value your membership to the channel. Um, without further ado, um, yeah, I just um, figured out which, you know what, I was already in bed and bored and, you know, trying to do this and that. And then I figured, ah, man, um, you know, let me spend time with you guys. You know, at least I have you. I have you all. I have my people, oh, I am blessed, oh, what a blessing, oh, chinege. Guys, thank you very much for the support. So, yeah, I felt like, ah, oh, man, I can talk to you anytime, um, and I don't have to dress up, you know, this is how we do it, Nesdweshazam. You guys know I am very, um, what's the right word? I'm very spontaneous with my videos. I don't always plan. Uh, my videos are unedited. I'm sure you you do notice. Um, so anytime I feel like I have something to share, I will, you know, just because my ring light is always there. <laughs> my tripod is always there. Because, you know, this is where I do my readings. I'll just pull up my tripod. You know, um, cause when I when I do my consultations, sometimes I get tired of holding the phone, so I will mount it on a tripod. So sometimes my phone and my tripod would be set already, and then I'd be like, "Voila, you know what? Let me do this just now." So yeah, that's what is happening now. Uh, I felt like, why wait till tomorrow? You understand? Because by tomorrow, if you know. Anything about people who are some kind of spiritual. Um, when you have a message to, to pass on or to send through, the, usually the best time is at that moment. Because the following day, you no longer have the same spiritual um, drive. You understand? Or even the guides that were sending you or that were surrounding you at the time of you wanting to, you know, share the message may not be there the following day. And therefore, the message may not be as powerful or may not have as much meaning as it would have had um, had you shared it um, at the time um, it came up. So hence my spontaneity. You understand? Maybe haphazard, but this is just who I am. It's the same thing for me. Like, if I'm sending a text message and, you know, for some strange reason the message won't go, I usually tell myself, maybe I'm not supposed to send this message. Let me think about it again. And then I'll just hold on to the message. You get me? So, spirit talks when it wants to talk. Anyways, Dwesha. Siteta ngandu, siteta ngumbilini, umbilini, la ando mani beta, ito kapsu, yo, na ando ngugu ya inyuga ngomkolo, benga ati kukui, inyuga amba ya pagu wa mkolo, your spinal cord, you know? Ooh, something like uncoiling all the way from the bottom to the top, or sometimes from the top um, of your head, um, your top chakra to yo the bottom of your spine, and sometimes um um this feeling, you know, it hits right here in uh, like your core. You understand? Um, your gut sometimes. You understand? When it's your core, banga to no value palpitations sometimes. When it's your gut, you you sometimes get a notch. Um, uh, is it a notch? A knot. No, a knot. You understand? You you see, you see, you see, you see, 
That is Mbili. But now we want to differentiate between the different types of Mbili because there are different types. You understand? Like I, I think I already mentioned palpitations. Palpitations are just palp palpitations. Um, I want us to differentiate Mbilini when we are Mbilini Wom to um shop, you understand? A spiritual person that has a calling. Now we talked about palpitations. Palpitations, you know, your heart beating faster than normal. Um, it happens with us females when we get to the stage of menopause. Um, you know, you understand less estrogen, um, 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 and therefore you would need treatment. Uh, maybe estrogen treat, treatment um, to help you with the palpitations. Ah, uh, look, I don't know. I can't. I don't know how to. Like I'm telling you, out of head. <laughs> maybe I'll be able to explain better when I hit menopause. But for now, I'm just telling you what people tell me happens. You understand when you when you uh, when you reach menopause. So it's palpitations. And sometimes people get palpitations, people who suffer from anxiety, you understand, anxiety and depression. Um, sometimes it's out of the blue. Um, yeah, anxiety, which sometimes um, is, you know, people are, are wrongly diagnosed or misdiagnosed, you understand, um, by professionals like your psychologists, your psychiatrists, who would see you are suffering from anxiety or and or depression, and therefore they will prescribe um a treatment, we understand, only to find no owa kumbilini kumbilini wom to onobizo kumbilini um of a person with a calling. Ne? So I already talked to Guti um there is umbilin wogo tuka. You understand? Wotuke kuti heke. You understand? Uvalu. Everyone will get that. So we all have umbilin basically. Not only people are but wasai. We all have it. But um kukona lo wogo tuka because ubon into eo tusayo. You understand? Kuti kli. Um into yo yika yum nanti yindia mo yum shagazlo. You understand? So, <laughs> you understand? And obviously, my heart would beat faster than normal. You understand? You understand? Sometimes, when you've done something bad, you understand? You are guilty of something. Um, you are, you know, scared of getting caught. You understand? Now your inner conscience talking to you. Uvalo, basically. Which we all have. And then there's mbilini woloazi. Ukubona. You understand? Um, that feeling that you get when you are about to see someone that you know. You think of them and they show up. Um, like... It, it's a thought, and then you'd be like, why am I thinking of her? And then the person shows up. Um, or, um, if you meet someone at work, or even someone is dark, you know, people who use strong um, muti for different purposes, you understand, for, you know, um, you know, stamping authority, or, you know, getting ahead of your colleagues. <laughs> Um, amakubalo, uh, is tofile. Um, imit, if I go to is tofile, danam, you won't believe. Yal beti suvalo. You understand? Um, so if you are gifted, uba na yo la 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 ability to sense umdu umtaka. We understand umdom taka because we are tarata umdom taka oka nyamba nezdo zimtaka. We understand om you twele uno 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 mshobo akamba na yo nendo zakamba na zo. You understand? It it happens even in a public transport. Uza tu sele kale kumdu ati njene ku sasimle. We understand. Iben guwe wetu alu sasimla yo. We understand. That's because we na you have a gift of 
um, being able to see beyond. We understand. Um, people who have a calling you understand but not only people who have a calling sometimes you just have the gift of sensing things you understand your intuition like translated into english it's called intuition you understand basically your intuition being higher than other people we understand vibrating at higher levels um, um, than other people um, can allow you to see, um, you know, beyond what other people can see because your vibrations are higher, your intuition is higher. You understand? And that does not always necessarily mean that you have a calling. Some people are just gifted like that. And it doesn't mean they have to now go to Asa. But let's talk about umbili nwo kutwasa ke manje, ne? Umbili nwo kutwasa ngulo that um as as traditional healers we have to help itwasa to overcome and be able to work with their umbili to work with their intuition in order to be able to divine so that you are able to you know check um what the problem is for your clients and therefore be able to assist them. So we you we depend on umbilini. Wait, we depend on our intuition. We understand when we divine we like some of us we will invoke um your spirits. We understand so that umbilini wako. We understand sometimes for me when a consultation is tougher than normal I will stop um um you know going about things as like business as usual as i would do with other clients i would um i would then feel like okay you know what i i i'm i'm not feeling i'm not feeling my people i'm not feeling spirit around me then i have to invoke my spirit when i clap my hands and when i ask my client to clap with me they understand sometimes the gap is likely to invoke something in me or me shouting and raising my voice sometimes that invokes mbiliniwam and as such my intuition is like you know it, it is raised and i therefore can rely on whatever comes to my head you understand um whatever message is coming through as fumana lombilini I will just, you know, spill it out to you, you understand, only to find it is exactly what, the message that you have to hear, you understand. Um, so that is intuition, therefore we are trained to be able to invoke Mbilini when, you know, when it comes to a show, you understand, because sometimes, like I was saying, spirit is not readily um, there. <laughs> with you when you need them so invoking um um lombilin such that um sometimes you can feel the pain um the person is feeling at that moment we understand if you will feel a pain in your we understand if you will feel a pain um um you get me um kuwe esbelekwen you understand? Utata o mingwangu mkamo. You will feel it. Uskuchiswangu mkamo. O opsungu. At that moment. You understand? But once we are done, all those um feelings will be gone. The pain will be gone. You understand? Because at that point, you invoked umbilini wako. You understand? Your, you know, that, that thing that talks to your core. Your inner core. You understand? Kalap. Yes, now we papa. Yambe now and go. So we are trained um to be able to invoke umbilini. Um what um you would call a trans land oba says losing with besom moyeni. You understand? Because when you are in trance, your intuition is is higher than normal. You can see beyond um the human eye sometimes. 
That is if you have a gift of seeing, a gift of born. You understand? Um, so part of the training your mundo twasayo is to assist them to work with umbilini wabo, to understand umbilini wabo, what it means at different points, if you are picking up on moyom taka, if you are picking up on, you know, the problem, the exact problem that your client is facing, if you are picking up on, just, we understand, um, normal uvalo, we understand. Um, so we are trained so that we are able to train um, our initiates as well who would be able to differentiate and be able to use umbilini waku, you understand? Because because unless when I will just prescribe medicine. But if you understand, your 